internet friends, welcome back once again. Thank you all so very much for joining me here today. I want to get right into the topic because it's a pretty short video, not a whole lot of footage here, but I do want to start out by saying thank you all so much for all of the questions and responses I got in the last video, and I will be putting together my Q&A response to that uh, tomorrow, Sunday sometime, and that will hopefully be getting finished up and sent out either Monday or Tuesday. Anyway. Uh, the topic that I want to discuss is something that was kind of in my mind during the session that you're seeing here, and it's kind of the mantra for the sessions all week, and it is uh, a return to some focus on some mental toughness. If you were paying close attention to uh, my squats in the last video, you'll see that my face was making some pretty uh, unusual expressions, and that's because I've been in a bit of pain uh, holding the bar. My right shoulder has had some issues. I don't really know what caused them. It wasn't some sort of trauma event and I've been mobilizing it very heavily but uh, a lot of pain has been associated right now with kind of my rear scap and uh, just holding the bar is really difficult. You're gonna see it's even gonna affect this top set here where I'm struggling to keep my upper back tightness. It's forcing me to pitch forward a little bit more and rely more on the bar sitting on my back instead of holding it there and the idea that I've been trying to implement is to understand the stresses and the pressure in some of these situations uh, where this is kind of a, a mini testing week. So we're not doing anything like a crazy heavy single, but I am doing some AMRAPs at loading that I haven't worked with a whole lot up to this point to kind of reassess uh, how training's going and to back off and, and change some things around. But I guess kind of the idea that I've really been playing around with or that, that I've been trying to implement is recognizing the potential high stress situations, recognizing situations where there is pressure and you could allow yourself to be fearful in those situations and approaching them in a mentality that is about doing the best that you can and trying to win in the situation rather than just being hesitant and trying to not lose, uh, being more aggressive and committed to the choices you're making, committed to that moment and giving yourself the opportunity to pull in that pressure, lean into the pressure instead of shying away from it and allow it to focus you more and allow it to improve your performance level. This is a sports psychology thing that uh, I found to be very helpful uh, in this week at least so far and hopefully I'll be able to continue in the rest of the week but not to allow yourself to get slowed down by the potential fear of failure. To accept that it's a possibility but that your best chance for success lies in you being committed to the decisions that you're making and into the actions that you're taking and to give your absolute best effort regardless to not to not move forward in a fearful fashion but to be aggressive in your approach and understand that even if things do not go the way you want them to or you you end up disappointed in the performance then it becomes a learning experience and an opportunity for growth in how to deal with that. Uh, the, the, dif the disappointments we have and the outcomes that we weren't expecting often end up being the most fertile soil for us to grow as people in our understanding, our beliefs, in our actions, and in our motivations. So that's all the footage I have for you right now. We have a lot more coming up this week. If you guys are interested in checking out some of the coaching slots I still have available, check that out in the description down below. Other than that, I hope you're all having a great day. More videos to come this week, and I will talk to you very soon. Thank you again.